I feel for him and the players because it's obviously not a situation or the situ and for all the, probably all the employees at, at Chelsea because it's nothing um, they are responsible for but what happens around I think there's one man is really responsible for that and it's Vladimir Putin um, in the first place and I don't know about Roman Abramovich's role in, in all these kind of things but over the years you could guess that maybe he's pretty close um, and then I think what the British government did is right to be 100% honest but it is still not cool for the people at Chelsea and for all the supporters I, I get that but uh, the, I think the things uh, the, the government did is all right. So matters here. I just wonder what progress has been made since we last asked about Mo Salah's contract. And the reason I'm asking is because obviously the signing of Luis Diaz has been another indication of the level of, of ambition at this place to continually improve the squad. You've won one trophy this season and are still competing for three others. So how persuasive is all that, do you think, to persuading Mo that his future remains here, that he should sign that new contract? Oh, I, I, I think, yeah, Mo definitely expects this club to be ambitious. We were in the last years, and we are. Um, and um, so I, I, it was a question if I think that the signing of Luis Diaz um, helps Mo yeah. to make does, it... Does it help? Because it, it's, it shows, I think one of the things that Mo's spoken about is seeing that continual level of ambition to improve the squad. And again, you've shown that. You've shown those indications. You're competing for those trophies. And it, do you almost reach a point where, look, there's not much more we can do here, Mo? No, of course we cannot do much more. That's how it is. But it's not about. I don't think it's about that. It's a decision between. Um, I think meanwhile it's 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 most decision pretty much. Um, I think the club did what the club can do. That's how it is. And it's not nothing bad to say about it. It's it's all fine from my point of view. It's exactly like it should be in this moment, um, moment time, and um, everything is is said. Nothing happened further. So no signing, no rejection, or whatever. So. Um, yeah, we just have to um, to wait for that. It's completely fine. It's uh, no no rush in uh, in in, the, in that situation. Ahead of this game at the weekend, Graham Potter said, "I always like playing against Liverpool because they are one of the best. It is very rare that in anything in life you get to face the best. So you should look at it as a massive challenge and huge opportunity. So how do you feel about playing Brighton? Brighton." not the best in the world but they are incre incredibly good so and um, that's uh, the we are not the best in the world obviously but it's nice nice words um, but it's um, let he Graham knows exactly um, <laughs> what 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 he what he um, really thinks he knows that uh, there's always football and there's a there's a big chance that you can give other teams a struggle that's what we try to do constantly and that's what they will try definitely even when the results in the last few weeks were not were not brilliant for Brighton but the performances uh, performance level is, is is really really good and they I think they have fourth highest possession stats in the in the league, which is 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 really it's not easy to have. Eh? So um, so you need to do a lot of good stuff to to play to to keep the ball that long in a, in a football game. And um, in the end, it's um, for us always a challenge to face them. We've re realized it in the home game. Uh, it was uh, we, we, when you are not compact against Brighton, then they play play. In and around you. That, that's how it is. That's how they set up. Uh, so we have to make sure that we find a, a proper defending attitude, and from there we go. Um, and we are, don't go there to to show who is the better side or who is world class or, and, and stuff like this. Not at all. We try to. We, we are humble enough to go there and really work in, incredibly hard and. Um, yeah, put in a proper shift. That's what I expect. Not uh, a fancy football game. I expect that us as a real um, hard-working unit. Uh, PLP. Hi again. Hi. Just what have you made of the impact of Luis Diaz since he arrived in the games of play? Good, great, outstanding, um, surprisingly quick, um, and everything like you wish for. Um, that's that's how it is, um, and we wanted to be. be 
when you sign a player, you never know in the moment how, how quick it will go. Obviously, it's, and, and um, Luis has so many things he needs to be to have an impact here. Um, and we saw that in the first moment, but then there's still a difference between seeing it in training and bringing it on the pitch. But he's obviously exactly what you you, you really get what you see um, in training. You get it as well in the in the game. So yeah, brilliant so far. You've won seven Premier League games in a row and only conceded twice. How important is momentum at this stage of the season in the title race? For us, incredibly important because we obviously have no time and no points to waste. Um, so yeah, we have to keep going. That's that's clear. That's uh, the situation is clear. Everybody knows it. And um, yeah, if there is any kind of momentum, we should better keep it and 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 work with it. Um, that's it. Are you excited by the title race? Do you think it will go close to the end? From our point of view, I hope so, but I don't know. So because uh, I look, it's we, we spoke about that here now uh, plenty of times, and it's always the same. You all, uh, everybody's excited about having the opportunity to have a title race. Um, our problem is we have to play Brighton now. Um, then the game in hand we have a few days later against Arsenal away. <laughs> in all the in all the um, thoughts of a lot of people, it's like okay, three points, three points, bam, bam, bam. But there's a the one. 180 at least 80 minutes of football um, in between. Um, now only 90, and then another 90. So it's it's really it's really tough. But so far the boys did incredibly well, and um, why shouldn't I um, think we cannot go on? So um, it's hard work, yes. But um, the boys are ready to to work hard, and um, and then you have to play your best football. And if you can't play your best football, you have to force. Um, luck uh, a little bit that's how it is um, and yeah we will try everything but um, if we can call it if from our point of view we cannot call it a title race because we, we are we are still behind and all these kind of things but we we try to win football games and um, let's see and um, just finally for me Jürgen Roberto Firmino is he ready to, to play yeah he's back thank you Julia thanks um, Jürgen what's been the reaction from Midweek against the Milan. Has there been any more injuries? We saw a few players maybe missing from training yesterday. We had a few little things, but um, so far nobody is out of training. We have, on top of that, how everywhere. Um, <laughs> Covid is not over, so um, these these kind of things we have as well um, or had. We will see <laughs> um, how that how that's going on. We try absolutely everything to 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 avoid this, but it's obviously not really possible. Um, play, players or staff who had it now have absolutely no symptoms. That's good, but still they cannot uh, be involved. Um, we will see. I, 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 but they come later today, so we, we, we train a bit later, and they will, they're not here yet. And so far, I didn't get any news injury-wise. I think, yeah, they all should be ready. And it was just one of the You talk about like the proper shift you're going to have to put in against Brighton. It's been such an intense time for the team, with so many games being played in different competitions as well. Is there is there a skill set? Is there an art? And you keep that motivation going to, to keeping them all together to keep that intensity going. Is there a, a skill that you that you have at all, Laura? Who? Way to keep it all together. Yeah. It's, it's boys, the character of the group. So um, we don't feel sorry for ourselves or whatever, and think, oh my God, again? <laughs> uh, not at all. So we really like the situation, and we are used to it. It's not, the, come on, the, even last season, uh, when we had to get qualified, when we wanted to be qualified for the for the Champions League, we had to win pretty much all the games in the, in the last I don't know how many weeks. So we brought ourselves quite frequently in, in similar situations for different reasons, and um, don't know exactly what's about and why that always happened to us. But it's um, there was one year when we didn't have to f fight until it was the year when we became champion. It was um, a bit earlier decided. All the other years were always full throttle, full throttle until the end, and um, so we. Are uh, kind of used to it, but I don't take it for granted that it works out. And I know that it's uh, that the boys 
have to invest a lot and um, of course we try to help with all we can with all um, with all the recovery stuff we um, opportunities we have and um, then obviously with telling the boys why it makes sense to give it a try as well yeah, of course that um, these kind of things we want to write a, a special story here not only this year in, in general and um, if you want to look back in your life later in your life look back on a very successful time then you should better give you absolutely everything now that's a good story and that's what we try Peter Mosad Mike yeah, again, as part of that special story that you've been writing, you've got lots of really gifted and talented footballers. I'm not too sure that anybody works harder than Liverpool, maybe Man City, but it's great players that work hard, the secret of success. How difficult is it to maintain those levels of endeavour as the season progresses and, and fighting on three fronts? You've won one trophy already. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's difficult or whatever, but you cannot do it. I'm pretty sure you cannot do it now <laughs> with everybody. But um, I, I believe in um, in humans, and I really believe in, uh, in the fact that everybody has a a specific amount of self motivation. So, and then um, if you if you see uh, um, if you see other guys around you um, who have something similar or even. Um, bigger, higher, whatever, higher level of, of self-motivation, then you you realize, okay, it's possible that there's still obviously some space for improvement. So it, it's a lot, very much all about the, 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 the boys themselves. We were really lucky in moments and obviously quite smart in other moments with bringing these boys together. Um, and now it's a lot about self-education, um, about role models in the team, about who is who who sets um, standards um, on the pitch, but in the dressing room as well. These kind of things, and uh, we are really blessed. And you're right, I think. But it's not only City and us. Uh, uh, some Chelsea's they are all working hard, and for different reasons. Burnley's working incredibly hard, and that every day. But they don't get the, and the points all the time. But they they never give up, and all these kind of things. And, um, so if you want to be in the Premier League, if you want to be a Premier League player. You have to be ready to give you absolutely to absolute all. Just more, some are more skilled than others. Um, then, it, then you think they work even harder, but that's not always the case. Sometimes the guys who are re have really um, only like me as a player, I worked incredibly hard. But the people didn't talk about that. They only talk about that I cannot control the ball, which actually was my that was the same way I thought about it. Um, and so having a good an outstanding attitude should be the basis for a successful sports career. And Brighton, uh, not in great form at the moment, results-wise, as you as you indicated. Why do you think that they they've made things, been able to make things awkward for you on, on quite a few occasions yeah. when you've played? I mean, a really good football team, and 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 obviously um, Graham likes to to. Okay, he has the time to set up as well his team for each opponent, and he's using it obviously pretty smart. I, I Grandpa is, is an outstanding coach, I have to say. I really, really, I really like what he's doing. Um, I think Brighton has the problem that from time to time they don't finish the situations off they create. Um, I don't know how many games I watched of Brighton when you thought 80 minutes. Wow, my God, how good they are! But they were only one it up, and then the other team has one chance and it's one one, and I think that's really hard. But the, 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 if you have a look at the players, they 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 bring in and the way they play, it's really exciting to watch. Um, and it's, it's it's really good football. And we we realized that in the home we were two it up. Didn't think it's a long quite long ago, but it, I didn't I think we were brilliant that day. But um, we, we really didn't really leave the door. They needed a screamer um, to get a bit closer. But then from that moment on, we were not compact anymore. And they played through the lines, between the lines, in behind the lines. And that's what not a lot of teams are able to do. But they were. And I respect that a lot. And that's the team we prepare for tomorrow. Thank you. Carl, anything from you? Carl? Well. Um, you've not experienced many defeats this season. Enough. In the last year. More than enough. Yeah. I'm wondering what, what the immediate reaction is from the players. I, I choose to test the for example, because you lost, but you still went through. But what the reaction from the players is immediately after defeat and in the days after defeat is, do you see a difference in that? 
No, no, no the, the, we, we are no good losers. I mean, we are, honestly, it's not like that, but it's not. But you have to. Um, so I have usually after the after the game a little little speech in the dressing room. So actually most of the time quite nice <laughs> to say to the boys how good they were uh, and stuff like this. Obviously in this game it was slightly different, but in the end I, I realized when I was looked in the eyes, because I was in a better mood than the players when I came in and I lost as well. So, um, but I my first thought we are through against a tough opponent. The boys' first thought was were or was um, wow we lost. Um, and both is fine somehow, and it's like always in life. Reaction is important. We have to see. We have to. We have to show reaction. We will. I'm pretty sure we will. Um, because in in the game, the result is only the result. I, I'm obviously very interested in the performance, and I didn't like parts of the performance, especially defensively. So, and that's now a good point to make before you play Brighton, because if you don't defend properly against Brighton, um, we have a problem. Definitely a problem. Um, and I, our our counter press was not even close to what I would have expected it in this game. Um, and, and we got punished for it. Do I like losing? No. Do I like the fact that if you don't do what the, actually the plan was, that you then get a knock for it? Yes, I would have been happy with a draw as well. It would have been enough of a knock, but um, now we lost. Um, or we could have won. And it, all this kind of thing. So you have to, with all the chances we had, then, okay, some of them against 10 men, but before already. Um, it would have covered a couple of, of things for this game. Problems we don't have that often, but we had it in that game, and we have to stop having these problems. We have to 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 show that we that we understand there's a way we can cause each team in the world problems, and we should better use that way. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting Redmen TV. If you want more Redmen TV in your life, become a Club Legend subscriber on Redmen Plus right now. You will get your name at the side of every YouTube show. You will get perks such as free merch discount on merch, free tickets to Redmen Live shows and you'll get access to all our content which includes exclusive interviews, documentaries and all our pre and post match content which is available in video and podcast form. Sign up now.